so it's really strange but notice that this paint right here is like flaking off i've never seen this before it's literally like flaking off i wonder what happened maybe it was like like really hot in this area that's so strange yeah wow most of it is dirt here but i don't know why it's peeling there but it is what it is i'm gonna start cleaning this area I also got new bulbs for it, low beam, high beam, and fog lamp uh, bulbs. I'm gonna change them on right now. New and old. Nothing really wrong with the old one, just want to replace it. Preventive maintenance is the key. I've got a new coolant tank for it as well already cleaned this this area pretty good and probably gonna just put a bunch of grease here and you can't really you won't be able to see this from anywhere because there's gonna be a coolant or washer tank as well so as of right now i'm just gonna add grease to that area and all these other spots Also going to be changing this valve. This is for the EVAP system. This old valve, it's completely clogged. It doesn't blow one way or the other. Very important. This, if you don't change this, it will cause your fuel tank to collapse. Got to change this. Make sure your EVAP lines are free and this valve as well. So check this out. This is a new one, right? right now old one does not want to do it barely anything it's pretty bad we're changing installing a new one on this thing New fog lamp bulb and this one is going on. Please are deep. Uh yeah, go for it. Let's turn her over. Spark plugs out. Okay. Yeah, I was gonna say it's gonna spin easy. No, yeah, I know. I just wanna, you know, before we actually crank it. Yeah, it should be fine, I think. Move that oil around a little. I'm not gonna be able to spin it fast enough to pick up oil. That's fine. That good. That should be good enough, bro. Okay. Yep. Sweet. Careful, careful, Jessica. <laughs> Shmuff. I know you like everything fast, like Ziggy Ziggy, you know. Yeah. yeah definitely a good idea to do the service on it. Nice. Look at that. Oh yeah, the pan is looking nasty. Mm -hmm. okay. Got it? Yeah. There's gonna be more fluid, so hold on to it. I'll put the pan underneath. Nice. That's not much. Be elastic.
nice. Yeah, let that drain down. Yeah, let it drain for a while. Yeah. Just felt the underneath. Of it. Yeah, all this garbage that fell when you were taking it off. Mm -hmm. That's all that is. Oh Luckily, God. we got Shit. cleaning stuff and supplies. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. So got a brand new hose coming down. It's got a fuel pump right here. All right, and then it's getting going out this way, going to the engine. And we have a brand new EVAP check valve right here, a vent valve, however you want to call them. And I also put installed brand new hoses. This is the return. Nice. <laughs> All right, about to install new filter on it and trans pan. It's been all cleaned up. Ready to go. Got new pen gasket on it. Cool. Battery tray looking good. Very good. Later on, we can put grease on it too. Yeah. Uh, after we paint it. Alright, I'm gonna get ready to uh, torque the. Uh, transmission pan bolts and this time I'm using the torque wrench. It's actually eight newton meters or 71 inch pounds So I'm gonna go ahead and start get started on that uh, Lit free. Yep, uh, clean one yeah. <coughs> Thank you oh, You're that good, Jetska. Mm, I try. Nice and clean. No way. Very nice. Clean. Oh, golly, don't golly. Just don't go too fast because it's going to burp itself out. No, I know. Very cool. Look at that fresh trans oil. Keep the funnel jammed in there. Yep. All right, so here's why we're not gonna change the engine oil just yet. The engine oil is still fine, still a little bit above minimum, so it's okay. But there's a, previous owner said that there's a tr uh, leak coming from somewhere. So that's why, you know, I don't wanna change the oil just yet. But we got the fresh oil in the trans. Uh, and now um, this is the fuel line that comes from the fuel pumps. So we're going to activate that uh, fuel pump using the jumper wire. And then we're going to connect it. And then I want to open these four lines to make sure that, you know, there's no gunk in there. Just going to pull these out. <clears throat> make sure everything is out of the way. We got new plugs that we're gonna go right in all right remember if you put oil in the cylinders you have first have to crank the engine with the plugs out to prevent hydro locking and then now we're gonna we're gonna put new plugs in and we have brand new spark plug wires as well <laughs> 